tired as hell of being cold in the shop? Ah! ah I can't even hold on to my tubes. It's too cold in here. So there's a bunch of different ways to heat a small shop space and I like to think about what are the biggest considerations. And for me, I want something that doesn't eat a lot of my floor space. I want something that has a thermostat and that can run on its own whether or not I'm here. So, so you know, if I'm here, if I'm here and I, I want it a little bit warmer and then I leave, I don't want it to, to get just as cold as the outside air in the middle of winter because those wide temperature swings are gonna create issues for condensation and, uh, and the shop will be so cold and I won't be able to keep anything like with water in it in the shop without it freezing. So even though I have it warmer while I'm here, I still wanna be able to keep a baseline while I'm gone. So I need a thermostat. I need something that doesn't need a lot of floor space, and I need something that's simple enough for me. So I don't have, uh, a, you know, I grew up in the rural area, and we had trees in our backyard, and we would chop them down and make our own firewood. I don't have that where I live now. And even if I did, it's a consideration how much time you put into that, whether or not you want to do that, whether or not you enjoy that. And so I like the idea of having a wood stove and throwing logs in it. That sounds really romantic and really nice to have in my shop. Sounds cozy, but I don't have a good source for firewood. It takes up space and there's no thermostat. So a wood stove, not a very good option for me. This one here is called a direct vent wall heater. These can run on propane or natural gas. And I got this one used for $150. It's a 35,000 BTU burner and it's 70% efficient. So you don't get all of that heat. But what is good about it is that I bought it and it was set up for natural gas. I switched it to propane. I didn't know how to do that. I learned it's easy. Then I didn't know how to plumb it in. I learned how to run plumbing for this stuff. It's easy. All the information is on YouTube and on the internet where you go to the hardware store and you ask the friendly and helpful people. Even I went to Lowe's and the guy who was working there seemed to really know his stuff even though they're a big chain corporate store. They had someone there who was pretty helpful and answered some of my stupid questions about pipe dope and whatever. It's pretty easy to learn. You just need like two pipe wrenches and some simple tools and you get the stuff cut up at the store and you gotta, you know, you study it. Learn about drip legs and unions and what, I didn't know about any of that stuff. It's pretty easy to learn. You just gotta take your time and you can install something like this it, I bought this used and it was missing one or two parts and so I went to a HVAC supply store and they sold me the pieces that I needed. This is this is made by Empire and it's a I think it's a DV35. I'll look up the th we'll put it on the screen and it's uh, it's a really good fit for me because it doesn't eat a lot of floor space and what it does is it's just it's just gravity and a flame and uh, when it opens up the gas valve it lights the big flame and otherwise there's a small pilot and it just uses uh, the principle that hot air rises to pull in cool air from outside into the combustion chamber. It, it burns that with the gas and the flame and then it exits again just through gravity. There's no fan. And then while it's in the combustion chamber, 70% of that heat stays in the room with you. So what that does is that keeps all the combustion gases and the, the um, condensation and stuff from the combustion goes outside and you don't have that filling your shop space. So I'm thinking about this is like not my home, but it's almost like my home. I need the air to be safe and breathable. I need the, you know, these are expensive machines and stuff I have. I have bike tubing that's steel. I don't want that to rust. I have nice, you know, uh, all sorts of stuff. I don't want this table to rust, whatever. Uh, I want it to be kind of temperature stable. I don't want to be putting combustion gases and carbon monoxide and that sort of stuff in here. I want something I can actually live with. And so I need something with a thermostat and something that, and you can get these, uh, what's called direct vent. And then it's a simpler unit. You don't have to have plumbing for the gases that goes inside and outside, but it's burning the air within your space mixed with propane or natural gas. And you get all this combustion gas and, and uh, condensation. And over time that, that builds up in your space and it's not ideal. You'll get rust issues and, and um, it's just not the best. I think this is very civilized and you can live with this. And so if you have a small space like I do, insulate it as well as you can afford to, and then get something simple like this in here. And you know, I really, I, I think it's important to consider having a thermostat so you can walk away from it and, and, um, and something that, you know, it's just civilized enough. If you had, for instance, a garage outside of your house and you just had a winter project, you needed to fix your car, you might just get some simple uh, salamander heater or one of these heaters that just burns kerosene or propane directly into your space and it would keep you from totally freezing during that short term of your project. That'd be a great solution. But if this is your shop, where you have all your nicest tools and you're trying to do your best work, I think you want something a little bit more 
more civilized. And I think this is a great solution. I didn't know these existed when I started the search for shop heaters, and so I wanted to share that uh, with all of y'all. And uh, also to empower you that if you think that you might want to do a project like this, DIY, do it yourself, uh, it's totally easy and accessible. You just got to take it seriously and you got to go for it. It's not that hard to learn. Just, you know, respect the process, respect that you don't want gas leaks. When they came and dropped the propane tank, the guy pressure tested the system before he left, you know, to make sure that it wasn't leaking. And then, uh, you know, I don't really know what I was doing. This was the first job I ever did. The guy said, wow, this looks great. And he told me I should go to their company and apply for a job because, you know, it was good work or something. They could use somebody like me. And I didn't bother, but and the point is that it's really not that hard to learn. If you can build a bike frame, if you care about the detail-oriented nature of a bike frame and you're handy, you can definitely install a heater. It's real simple. You just got to you know, respect the process. Anyway, hope you found the video to be helpful. And uh, get in the comments with, with any heating-related uh, thoughts and advice you might have for anyone else watching this video so we can have a community collaborative sort of thing going on. And uh, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.